for decades, Placido Domingo has been one of the most recognized voices mm. of opera around the world. Amazing, mm. amazing voice. But did you know hmm. he has an interesting connection right here to Los Angeles, where he has been performing for 45 years? Our John Caddy's Climax spends some time with the maestro. Opera superstar Placido Domingo doesn't do very many interviews these days. Are you nervous? Nervous about the interview? <laughs> <laughs> Un poquito. While the self-deprecating humor, charm, and charisma has made him a friend to many, his voice has made him a legend in just about every corner of the world. <laughs> and come September 15th, he will make a musical milestone right here in Los Angeles. Opera in Los Angeles has been defined by this remarkable gentleman whose vision, artistry, generosity, and leadership has forged a path for opera in this town. The LA Opera will open I Dewey Foscari, the two Foscaris, on September 15th, marking the maestro's 140th role on stage, 45 years after his first appearance in Los Angeles as the title role in the famous opera Don Rodrigo. Los Angeles loves you. Uh, you have introduced Los Angeles in a broader sense to opera like it could have never been introduced otherwise. And while he's well aware of his achievements, the maestro says his focus is on spreading the operatic arts. I haven't been going to the programs I, only if I can sit down and talk. Because you, know? you want people to understand that. Yeah, of course. I, I want people, I want to, we want to talk about what we do. At 71, the treasured tenor has performed on stage more than 3,600 times. But it's what he's done for the art that he hopes will be his legacy. I just hope that uh, what I have done, it will certainly is reflecting now here in Los Angeles. From the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion in downtown Los Angeles, I'm John Caddy's Kleenak, NBC4 News.